Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Northwestern Wildcats and the Kansas Jayhawks. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Jayhawks. The Wildcats haven't been buying the underdog hype, which should make for a great game today. Kurt? Kansas will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. Yo, I'm picking. Western is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Robinson fields it at the 11. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Guys, let me tell you about a player that I'm going to be watching today. This linebacker is amazing. Don't be surprised if he's in on every single tackle today. Yeah, Coach, this guy is something else. He has very good skills and excellent vision to just wreak havoc on the opposing team's running back. This guy is the difference maker on this defense, Kirk. If he plays well, then this running game will go nowhere today. They line up at the 39. First down. Going with the shotgun here. Here's the option. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Second down and 14. Ball on the 35-yard line. Kansas comes to the line with three wide. Here's the option. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Number 40. Gained seven yards on that play. That'll make it third down. From their own 42-yard line. It's third down. Number 17 has four receivers lined up here. Looking, he passes it. Complete to the true freshman. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Three wide outs here, looks to pass. He lets it go. He snags it. That'll be a two yard loss. Second down. Ball on the 44-yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. McDonald gets a carry right side. He's all the way down to the 17. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job of getting up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. We've got a first and 10. They're in the red zone. Kansas goes with the ace set here. Play action, looking, guns it to the end zone. Almost intercepted. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Hawks with four receivers. He's looking to pass. Looks. Flanagan comes away with a sack. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Davis picks it off. He lost the ball, and the offense picks it up. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Second and five. Ball on their own 18. Number three lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. They can't connect. Incomplete. 
I'm not sure why they went to the air there. Beats me. They need to run the clock. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 18. Four wide receivers in the formation. Look at the throw. He guns it left side. Got his man on the run. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. The Wildcats line up in a goal line formation. Washington tackles him at the 39. Number 20 comes away with two yards on the carry. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Northwestern to line up in a jumbo set here. Washington with a takedown at the 40-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Wildcat set up in the gun. He unloads it. It's complete. And they make the stop at the 45. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. And they'll run him again. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down. The Wildcats line up with three wide, and he hits them hard at the 45-yard line. And the blitz might have caused that one. Now the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Number three guns it over the middle. Talib with the tackle at the 22-yard line. The Wildcats are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. We've got a first and ten. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. And he takes a big hit at the 25-yard line. Northwestern takes a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's second and 13. They line up in the shotgun. Another run. And he stopped behind the line. Northwestern will use their final timeout. Well, a familiar situation for the offense as they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Back to pass. Number three throws. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Fourth down, and the kicking team's on to try this 43-yard field goal. It's up. Well, fellas, he can't come through with three points. Like corners who get beat on deep routes and quarterbacks who throw a pick, kickers also have to have a short memory. Yeah, I think this guy will be ready to go on his next kick. Number 40, the lone back. First down, look at the throw. Number 17 lets it fly. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep. Total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. Second it's and second and 10. Ball on their own 26. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Throws it deep downfield. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Intended for the wide out. Right. 
It's third down and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. Kansas calls a timeout. First down. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Texas Longhorns and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Buckeyes. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Ohio State needs a big game from their talented running back, and I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. This will be a good game, but this one for you, Kirk. Ohio State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. And this one's away. Mackey takes it from the six. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. It could be a long day for this right tackle as he takes on the challenge of blocking this animal at defensive end. We're going to have the opportunity to see a guy who can really create problems by getting to the quarterback. And something tells me he's going to be getting to the quarterback a lot today. He's not exactly going against the best right tackle in the world. They line up at the 15. Second and long coming up here. The Longhorn. Come out in a shotgun. Lane, back to pass. And he's got him on the streak. And he's all the way down to the 42. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. First From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. The Longhorn with four receivers stepping up. It's tipped. Hunter was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 42. Second and 10. The Longhorn go with the eye formation. Fakes to the back. He's looking for his man as his fullback. They'll bring him down at the 49. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. From their own 49-yard line, third and three. Texas lines up with three receivers. Throw short. The senior makes the catch. Whoa, that was close. The defense thought they held him there. Uh, the offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Longhorn line up in an eye formation. Let's it fly. Lilly tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of two. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball right around midfield. The Longhorn come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Dumps it, complete, and he hits him hard at the 44. They got four yards on that one. This defense faces another third down. 
four wide. Lane, back to throw. Quick throw. And it's caught. Nice stop by the defense. Well, they let him catch it, but they were not going to let him get that first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Texas comes out in the shotgun, and he's hammered as he lets it go. That's incomplete. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They're fired up. Now let's see if it's... Second down and 10 to go. They're in the eye. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. This one is incomplete. Young was the... Hi everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're still feeling the heat and will continue to do so throughout the night as we get set for the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Kansas State Wildcats. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Wildcats. The Wildcats are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreit thinks. Kansas State has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. I got to go with the favorite in this one. Look out. I'm going... Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Here's the kick. Broll takes it at the 12. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, folks, you're in for a treat today. Taking the field for this offense is a very, very talented running back. This offense really thrives on him getting things going on the ground. But, Brad, it's not going to be easy today. He's going up against a very tough run defense. Yeah, this defense has been watching film of his playmaking running back all week. They're up to the challenge, and if they shut him down, it can ultimately decide the outcome of this game. First and a foul. Walking the pass. 15 yard pass. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Now he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Wildcats line up with Chris Wright. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From the 48-yard line. Second and 13. Ace backfield, mission, options left, and he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. They line up at the 46, third and 11 here. Kansas State lines up in a shotgun set. He steps up, he's going left. That's incomplete, and that'll make it fourth down. Try to go for it. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. Bishop with a bullet. They connect again. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. First down, 10 to go. Kansas State comes out with an eye formation. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's second and eight. Ball on the 33. 
The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Bishop drops back. He unloads it. It's complete. That's a loss of about five. It's third down and 13 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. From the gun. He's in trouble. Bishop is sacked. That defensive end just came off the edge and pow! The quarterback didn't have a chance. He has one jump. First and ten. The Nittany Lions line up in an I formation. They give to the tailback. Neely with the tackle at the 12. They line up at the 12. Second and five coming up here. Penn State lines up in a goal line set. They'll go with a run once again. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals a very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. The Nittany Lions line up with two tight ends. And he's leveled at the 10. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Penn State comes out with an eye formation. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Third and We've got third and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. The Nittany Lions line up in a goal line formation. Play action. Throw in left. It falls incomplete. And that's going to bring up fourth down, Coach. That was a tough pass to hang on to. But on third down, I think that's the catch you have to make. So it's fourth down. This one is from 27 yards away. It's up. And it is 